We now determine the arc length of the graph whose equation is given as uh, y equals uh, 6x power 3 by 2 plus 9. So we can utilize this uh, arc length formula which says that uh, arc length of uh, function y is given by integral from a to b under the root of 1 plus dy by dx uh, quantity square times dx. So the dy by dx is the derivative of the given function y. So first, uh, let's determine dy by dx uh, using this equation by differentiating both sides with respect to x. So I put uh, dy by dx on the left side and uh, we have 6 here and we can apply the power rule to differentiate uh, x power 3 by 2. That is, uh, we put the power in front and raise x to the power of uh, uh, 3 by 2 minus 1. The derivative of constant 9 is a 0, so we can just ignore that. Let's uh, simplify this. This is uh, 6 goes into 2 as uh, 3 times, and 3 times 3 is 9. So we get uh, dy by dx equals 9 x power 3 by 2 minus 1. So this equals uh, 3 by 2 minus of uh, 2 by 2. So this is 3 minus 2 is 1, and it is 1 by 2. So this is 1 by 2. Uh, we can put this uh, x power 1 by 2 in terms of radicals as this is uh, basically 9 times of root x. So we got the expression for dy by dx which is uh, 9 root x. Now we find the uh, dy by dx uh, quantity square because uh, according to the arc length formula we, uh, we have to find the dy by dx quantity square and then add 1 to it and we have to take the square root of that expression. So let's do all the three here. First, uh, I'm going to square both sides, that is a dy by dx quantity square, and this side also I should square it up. So I get the expression for dy by dx quantity square, and this equals square of 9 is uh, 81. And if you square the square root x, you get only the x. So this is basically 81. This is uh, 81x. I can write down this as just 81x. I need to add 1 to this uh, on both sides. So I put uh, 1 and then I have to take the square root. I will also take the square root. So I have found this expression that is 1 plus dy by dx quantity square under the root. This equals uh, 81x plus 1. Now uh, in the formula we have to integrate uh, between the limits of uh, x that is x is from a to b. And when you look at the graph, the graph uh, starts at uh, x equal to 0 and ends at uh, this point is uh, x equal to 5. So basically the value of a equal to 0 and uh, b equals 5. So we can uh, put the formula as that is the arc length for the graph of the function is defined uh, from x equals uh, 0 to x equals 5 and uh, this equals uh, integral from a to b that is uh, 0 to 5 and then under the root of this expression so I put uh, 81x plus 1, this is under the root dx. Now let's evaluate this integral. I'm going to use a formula to evaluate this integral. That is, uh, we have a standard formula. Uh, if we have an expression ax plus b raised to the power of n, and we integrate this, and this equals 1 by a, times of uh, ax plus b raised to the power of uh, n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. I do not put the constant of integration c here because this is a definite integral. So I just leave it as it is. Uh, to replace this formula, I'm going to rewrite the square root function as a power of 1 by 2. So I can put this as 81x plus 1 raised to the power of 1 by 2 and this is dx. So when I use this formula, let me identify the a and b. In fact, we just have to identify only the a. So this is a, a equals 81 and uh, this is b. So let's apply the formula here. So the integration of this expression is, uh, we have to put 1 by a first, that is uh, 1 over 81 times of ax plus b, that is the same expression. So I write 81x plus 1 raised to the power of n plus 1. Here n equal to 1 by 2. So n plus 1 that is 1 by 2 plus 1. And this equals uh, when you add these two we get uh, 3 by 2. 
so I can put this 3 by 2 and divided by the same n plus 1. So once again, I'm going to put a 3 by 2 here, and this has to be evaluated within the limit from 0 to 5. So let's calculate this. I'm going to put this as multiplied with its reciprocal. So I can put the constants uh, or I group the constants and this I write down this as 1 by 81 times of uh, 2 by 3 and uh, this has to be so we have this expression 81x plus uh, 1 raised to the power of uh, 3 by 2 and this has to be evaluated from 0 to 5. We now apply the upper limit as well as the lower limit. This is uh, 2 over 81 times 3 is uh, 243. Now let's evaluate by applying the upper limit 5. So when you plug in x equal to 5 into this uh, expression, we get uh, 81 times of 5 plus 1. This is raised to the power of uh, 3 by 2 minus, we now apply the lower limit. So it is uh, 81 times of 0 plus 1 raised to the power of 3 by 2. So this is how we apply the upper limit and lower limit. And this is according to the fundamental theorem of calculus part 2. So let's evaluate this. So this is 2 over 243. 81 times 5 can use the calculator. This is 405 and plus 1 will be 406. This is raised to the power of 3 by 2. And this is 81 times 0 is 0 and 0 plus 1 is 1. So 1 power 3 by 2 is uh, just 1. So I simply put 1 here. Now we plug this uh, expression into the calculator and when you do that uh, we get the approximate value as uh, 67.322 and this is rounded to three decimal places. So this is the arc length of the given graph of the function defined from x equal to 0 to x equal to 5.